There's a little coffee plantation that we've come across. Maybe this one has beans. Can you see? Here are coffee beans. Oh, look at that. Some of these are barely visible, they're so small. Oh, there's a, maybe a couple hundred plants. So this is San Jose de los Laureles Morelos that we're in. This is our first non-water activity, probably in a month or maybe, maybe five or six weeks. It's been a while since we've done a proper hike. It's always been water stuff. Uh, it's still very hot and uh, dry. I'm not sure this hike we're doing today. We've never done it before. We've been to this village before, but have not done this hike. And it's not, we usually get our hikes from, or Eric gets them from Wikiloc. This one, uh, he just kind of figured it out on his own. Just looking at Google Maps, so we're just gonna, eh, we're going uphill now. Steep. And uh, so we're gonna kind of follow this, kind of track the road that we're on and see where it takes us. Great views here all around. We had the coffee back there, a piece. And I uh, had no idea that coffee grew in this state. I was thinking of Mexican coffee is Oaxaca, Tabasco, Chiapas, but not Morelos. Uh, this might be, huh. Do you feel extra tired today? Uh, not too bad. Maybe because we haven't done one of these for a while. Yeah. Going uphill is, uh, well, it's steep here too, and it's constantly uphill. It's not like it's a little bit. Yeah, we're going uphill quite a bit higher since we started. Yeah, we're up higher. We started pretty much at the same level. Uh-huh. So uh, yeah, you can see the town there. Yeah, the town. Yeah. That we walked through is back here, San Jose de los Laureles. And now this might be a relatively short one, so we might join it with, uh, with another one you'll see. And you can see how hot it is that Eric is wearing shorts.
Avocados? Oh, they're a good size. They'd probably be a, a week before they get ripe. Yep. Once they're picked up, oh, they're a good size. Yeah, they're hard as a rock. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this whole, uh, these are all avocado trees, aren't they? I think that's what brings that what brings in more money these days as the potters. Here's some of these big squash of some type. That looks like it's growing on rope. Part of the tree. They're big. This is where we're going. I didn't uh, I didn't mention, but we we had made it to Tlalne Pantla. We started in San Jose de los Laureles, and we made it to another village called uh, Tlalne Pantla. We didn't show it, not not anything to see there, and we walked back to the car, and now we drove just a couple minutes more to go to this uh, monolith. Is that what that is? Or a rock, a big rock, a big mountain, whatever. And uh, there's a cave in there. We went, we did that six or seven months ago. We did it during the Christmas holidays at the end of December, beginning of January for the first time. So this is a good uh, good bonus. That, that first part of the hike today took us, I guess, almost three hours, which is not quite enough for us. So, so this is like a little extension. Another couple of bites before you're full. Cool cave up in here. We're good? Snagged.
destination. Thunder. Tree going right in the rock, huh? Mm -hmm. There's the cave. We came, the other time we came from, uh, we parked over there and walked here. We had to take a different crazy route today. The entrance where we came in last time was closed. You can see it's raining right here and it's also raining where we are now. A little bit with this, uh, this could get horrendous. I feel like the skies could open up at any moment and soak us 
drench us, drown us. Or this could be the, the worst it gets. picking up. Wrapping it up from the rain. We've made it to the car. We're parked here in this field. The rain is starting to, to hammer down. This is where we were over and out just in time.